what I do after this is I go over the edges just to there's still edges that are not completely sealed. Okay. It helps for the installation that way you don't have to actually heat them after you install it. It's all ready to be installed. What I'm going to show now is uh, it's called, I don't know, reverse roll. <laughs> reverse back, roll for, for a back for window. For back windows, yep. correct. For automotive. Yep. <clears throat> so very easy. Just want to put some water just to tack this down just so it doesn't move for you. Here. Fill it, wet it like you would to actually remove the liner, get ready for installation. You should return the liner right back onto the piece. Only work halfway, then go to the other edge and work the other half. Same exact step. And this will save you from um, trying to use a peeling board peeling and, and getting contami not. contamination and trying to climb in the back window. Correct. Yeah. There's a few different reasons why you would want to try this. All benefits. You know, you don't need a peeling board. You don't need to have this huge piece of tint that you're trying to get in the back seat without rubbing up against the, a seat. Mm -hmm. Seat belts, headrests. it up. What you want to remember is where you went to because that corner or edge, once you put it on the inside, that's where you need to start to unroll. A lot of people turn it upside down and you've got a piece that's upside down. Okay. Yeah. So just remember where you ended up. That way that's the edge that you start rolling it on. Yep. Okay. You can actually roll it up, put it aside. You can actually already put it in the back of the car. Yeah. You know, just get it ready. Come to the back. Assume this back window is nice and scrubbed and cleaned yep, up. Yeah, nice and cleaned up. Yep. A squeegee. Can you actually see this part? Yeah, we can see the bar there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is actually uh, something good to have just to show that even with an obstacle in the way, yeah. you can actually do this method and get the piece in cleanly. Yeah. Since this is the corner I rolled my piece to, then then that's the corner I would actually you need to start from. Start from. Correct. Let me 
just show you this one so you know. Here you want to maybe get some water on there, get the liner itself to pull away. It's going to pull away really easy because it's already wet. Yep. And just let it fall back onto the film itself. So that way now as you're rolling, you're actually removing the liner. At the same time. At the same time, correct. Got a good six to ten inches on there. All you got is just roll it, keep trying to follow your lines. You're actually, as I'm rolling it, I'm not actually touching the film at all, I'm only touching the liner. Okay. You know, so you're not contaminating or putting any kind of dirt or dust in it. Yep. Once you get about almost to the whole glass, you actually use the liner itself. To do the rest of the removal of the liner. There's a lot of different ways to actually, I wouldn't say a lot of different ways to squeegee this on here. Mm -hmm. What I usually like to do is to start from the middle and work my way out. It actually stretches the film. Okay. Helps for the installation so you're not left with more fingers at the end of the installation. Do like the cross method, that's very common, side to side, yep. up, down. And now you got four different corners and you work each corner at a time. Okay. Job done. Pretty much. Little tiny areas that you need, might need to heat here, yep. which is common mm. due to the fact that it is the matrix. Dot matrix, yeah. Dot matrix, correct. Yep. Just heat that up and uh, it'll sit down. And it's a done deal. Beautiful. Thank you.